Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Another interesting 3D printing project. I have here the famous St. Basil Cathedral in Moscow, Russia. It was built between 1555 to 1561. It burned down partly uh, at least twice as far as I know. It's a very special church. It's a Christian church. Um, special because of three things. It's located right at the Red Square. So a lot of people, including myself when I was younger, I thought this was the Kremlin, but it's actually the St. Basil Cathedral. Special also because of the architecture. Uh, architecture very unique for Russia. And the colors. And if you look at the picture up here, the colors are amazing. And they were not all there originally. They were added over the centuries. Even the inside is very colorful. So this model, as you can see, I printed white. I got the file from thingiverse.com. I'll put the link in my video description. So this is 110% of the file size. And that took about 40 hours to print with the parameters I put here at the bottom of the screen. Um, if I was doing this again, my recommendation would be to keep it at 100, and I'll show details very shortly. I think 100% uh, would still give you enough details and the print time would be reduced to about 30 hours instead of 40 hours. Uh, so like I said, white, I don't think I'm going to paint this because um, you saw, well again, I'll put the picture again here because this is very interesting. I have seen many churches in my life uh, because of my various trips and cathedrals and basilica and this is by far the most powerful church I have seen. Now with my side camera here, I'm going to show you like briefly, and I'm going to use my GoPro, so I'll just do this here for now, just so you can see some of the details. And I'll use my GoPro and see if I can get a different view. Uh, with uh, Hyper Smooth, I should be able to do uh, something nice with the, uh, with the GoPro as well. But look at all the details. This would be, in my opinion, almost impossible to paint. Uh, you could Google uh, this model. You will see that some people have painted. Um, but when you zoom in, really, the, the details are not great. You can see like the paint overlapping the next color. So it's very, very difficult to paint. So I was debating what color I should print it. So let me know, guys, what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you don't want to paint, you don't have to print in white. You could use a different uh, filament uh, color. So let me see with the GoPro. I may have just to erase that part of the footage. I'm not sure I'll be able to, to succeed, but we'll see with the GoPro here. So we'll see with the GoPro if I was able to do something uh, decent, a bit more than what my side uh, camera can do. So again, guys, um, I need to stress something I did not mention. Uh, I did this on my N3 printer, and you do not need supports. Um, I think I'm going to put that at the beginning of my video as a uh, subtitle. The beauty of this model, you don't need supports. Um, and without support, and I'm going to show you here one area in the front where you can see some plastic leakage right there at the top, but it's very minimal. Uh, the Ender 3 is very good at uh, bridging, and I think a lot of printers are, so this model should not be very difficult to print. And again, 100%, I think, would do a good job uh, this model, as you can see, the size here, 
I'll put the size actually at the bottom of the of the video here so that will give you an idea of what you get at 110 percent so thank you guys for watching and as always if you have any questions about this model about uh, the way I printed it let me know in the comments below and like I said if there is a color you think would be a good fit for this model if you don't want to paint let me know uh, also I'm just curious as to what uh, you're thinking so thank you for watching see you next time goodbye guys